Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. T today we're doing some more Scream for Cause stuff for the what is it, the Halloween Indie Game Showcase, and today is Yamawari Night Alone. This is the first, I think, in a series of horror games made by Nipponichi Software. Yeah, if you haven't heard that, they're, they decided to extend the whole deadline for the thing for the rest of the month, which which is cool because I honestly thought it was going for the end of the month, or maybe that was a different event going on at the same time, but... Either way, we still have those donations that you can make if you type exclamation point donate. As well as seeing the incentives or milestones if you wanted to type that for the special exclamation point commands in the... You know, in whatever it is, but... Yeah, this is a game I've had around for a few years, I think, and I've been meaning to play it, so let's, let's try it out. Hang on. Just moving something over, just trying to... Hey boy, what's up? Or, let's go back. Going, Poro. Come on, bud. What's got, you t what's got your attention, buddy? You can't pet the dog. This is a terrible game already. I kid, but no, seriously, this is probably before the whole pet the dog thing. Old E to run. I also have like a bar in the middle in a. Okay, so I guess you run slower if you do that. Old Q to tiptoe. You can tell it's a bit, this is a Japanese original game, I think, because the language is a bit iffy. Not like a ton, but just a tiny bit. What's that? See something interactable, question mark appears. I want to get close, I can get an exclamation point to do actions. Cool. Hey, a pebble. Actions change depending on what you interact with. You interact with many things. Just you select an item. What's up, you want to play fetch, buddy? Like pebbles? I mean, pebbles aren't usually a thing you throw for dogs, but sure. Fetch! I'm just kidding, we're not gonna quit the stream just yet, but Jesus fuck, what a way to start a game. It's like not even two minutes men, we we've just been asked to kill a dog. Well, we're complicit in killing our dog. And there wasn't even a road back there. Who's what's our eight was driving on our own? Jesus fuck game. I knew about this though from a while back, but still. Welcome back. Huh? Where's Poro? Uh, see, listen, there was this total maniac fuckhead driving down the road and ran the poor dog over. I mean, seriously, that guy was a fucking lunatic. The poor run away? Uh, in a way, yes, he's ran off the rainbow bridge. I'll go look for him. Stay here. Be right back. Sister, listen. I'll be just fine. I'll find him on my own. No, that's not the point. The point is that he's dead. I mean, come on, stop being a sound protagonist. See, this is the problem with having protagonitis. Complete mutinous and inability to communicate with others other than with yes or no's. Sis, it's getting late. I'm gonna go look for her. I mean, yeah, poor Rosen excited right now for obvious reasons. The game said there was a sandbox? Where is it? Multiple noise complaints, file for barking dogs. Runs pets with owner. Ooh, money. Sweet. If there's a map or anything I can use to figure out where I am. Oop. 
something there. And yeah, Steam demos have officially gone away for the Steam Access, and I'm Trash pebbles. Get out of here. Run. Where are you getting all these ghosts at night? Jeez. This town used to be a nice place. No, I'm trying to read the sign. Looking for witnesses. About what? Crazy lunatics who run over dogs? I mean, this is a hiding place. Not the, Not that sign. Can't go past this. I mean, can if you don't mind just pushing them aside. Where do we go? Jeez. Oh, there's a in here. Okay, so there's a home park. Get near the vacant lot. Okay. So it looks like I feel like we want to head down to the park because that would be where the stand box I mentioned is, and I feel like that's where I'd find the shovel, but. Do you want to look at the lot first? Ooh, cutscene. <laughs> you scared me. Did you come looking for me? Yeah, did you know there are ghosts on the street now? Come here. In these bushes, close your eyes. Not open them, no matter what happens. Yes, I understand. Yes, yes. Because you won't let me say anything else. This. God damn it, sis. Why'd you go after we're running off? Oh. I was trying to tell you about the ghost, and you just go run off again. I gotta be like this, sis. Does this go home already? Yeah, let's go home. It's getting. Yeah, it's getting late. If she's gonna just go run off and be a pain, we'll just go go back home where it's safe. Ooh. Something shiny. Flashlight. Sweet. He's one of those things. This this is. Let me turn the lights on. Oh. I'm not sure why the game only now is letting me interact with stuff. Uh oh. Get cornered. Okay. Hey, Queen Hine here, though. Yeah, I can see where the ghost is with that red flip on there. And the heartbeat sort of tells us how, an idea how close they are. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're inv completely invincible in here or if it's just that they don't see us while we're in here. Looks like we can't look at the map while we're in here as well. Is it right outside? It looks like it might be. Also, I guess you can only see the sh these ghosts in the light, it looks like. Yeah, I guess you can't see so we're hiding behind the sign or bushes. 
not gonna lie, I'm turning down the light, the light, the note volume because I'm afraid there's gonna be a jump scare when, if they catch us. Yeah, see you next trust demos. I managed to catch up on all of them and we had a good bit of fun with them, but... I'm waiting to see if these things move away. Let me go look, see which ones I had. Let's see, I play a little bit of Broken Roads, which is cool. I heard that sort of Aussie post-apocalypse game where we... Which I remember hearing a lot because there's a morality system, which is more focused on like, let's see, there's a... It could be like a human... humanitarian... There's, Humanitarian, utilitarian, Machiavellian, and nihilist, where, where it's like only I matter, only my group matters, everyone matters, or it's a needs of the many situation. There's also this one cool one I call Asbury Pines, which is sort of like a idle game in the style of a. What was that show called? The uh, Wind Peaks? Not me. Gonna get moving? It really feels like you're not gonna leave me alone. And apparently it's, it's like spans crawl across the ages, which is pretty interesting with like Okay, just have to juke it, I guess. Okay. Yep. Can't go past this, which is a shame because the other direction has a big old blob of ghosts the other, that way. Oop. Cool, some more money. What's that? Yeah, the part I played had like a present day, which is like 2030 to 47. The Jesus statue. Okay, I can quick save at these by paying them. Okay, cool. So we have to. So it's like Resident Evil saving rules. We have to pay to get it to save. Something back there I can't see. It's back there. Oh, there it is. Some item over there, so I want to check out. Check it out. Did I? No. Oh. Okay. Note to self: Be careful of manholes. Still a good way to get home. I'm not seeing any ghosts. <laughs> yeah, as well as, as well as why could two kid they also I mean as well as the present day of 2030 at least to forties, so they had the bit of Y2K with the younger versions of the characters we met, and then there was uh, the Worm 87 era where basically some sort of malevolent virus slash AI wiped out all of humanity's computers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a surprise going from present day to suddenly boom, post apocalypse. And what's supposed to be basically a solving the murder of this woman. With the implication that being some, you know, some weird stuff going on since it seems inspired by Twin Peaks. It looks pretty interesting, especially for an idle game. Oh, never restored, I don't know. Paper soggy. Maybe it's wet from the rain. Yeah, probably. Okay, we should be getting home by now. Oh, right here. Okay, that's our house. Yeah, let's just go inside, lock the door, and pray for, and wait for the sun, you know. The Minecraft way. Sis? Sis? This isn't here. Hey, didn't check inside, why don't you check in there? 
Okay, chapter one, sundown completed. I heard this isn't a super long game, so I can't imagine that's long. Night town. Sis went out to go look for Poro, who ran away. Didn't run away, you saw what happened. Sis didn't come back earlier, so I had to go out there myself to search for Poro and Sis. It shouldn't be that far away. Okay, save our progress, we go to the desk, instead of quick saving. I don't know why she's saying he ran away when, I mean, we all saw what happened. Seriously, the car, the blood, the squeal, it's... Again, I didn't think the game would literally have your dog horribly dies as a mechanic. One of the ways it starts off. Okay, so once again, we're trying to find Sis and Poro. Again, not sure why we're looking for Poro when they're pretty plainly dead. Imagine we were just trying to find a body, but... Let's head back outside. What else was I playing? There was... There was this one game I played called... The remaster of a game called... Ah! As in literally that's name, it's just like a long string of A's like someone's screaming as they fall. It's a little, little action arcade game where you're like drunk, not the. Here's Ghost in the Park. Who's out there? Maybe it was the ball that was causing the heartbeat. Okay, interesting. We can strafe with the tip though. Come here. Good to know. Let's let that wobbles when you play on it. See, now probably is the time to go playing on it. It's, you know, middle of the night, go, horrible ghosts out, sister missing. All right, I think there's a thing where you can throw things to distract the ghosts. I Think. Oh. oh, sorry, be right back a sec. I got a call. Looks like. Sorry about that, someone was just calling about a job, it sounds like, and I, I think, at least that's what I think was, because it was, you know, one of those call centers where that person is, uh... Okay, I think as long as I stay away from the, the ball, I'll be fine. That person has a really thick Indian accent, so it's impossible, to, so it's nearly hard to tell what they're saying. Ooh, puzzle piece, sound, that looks interesting. Okay, but it looks like the ball isn't actually going after us. So as long as we stay away from it, we should be okay. I 
you know, makes sense. Just stay away from the ghost and they can't go after you. Right now, let's go home and check out that shovel. So yeah, it's right down the street to the left, it looks like. is on the right here it looks like yep there we go what the dog berry bone shaped gum oh. yeah small shell okay this isn't what it is okay collect flashlight bone shaped dog treat poor loves it it's hidden behind the dog house I don't think that's gum, huh. Again, this game is Japanese, so I'm guessing that there's a little bit of a translation if on this there. Oh. I saw those legs, you can't fool me. Sweet, more money? Yeah, I think it was for a data entry job, I think. I couldn't really tell because, I mean, I heard him say data entry, but other than that, I couldn't really hear what he was saying because, you know, the axe is just so thick all the time. I mean, oh, wait, he, Poro's alive? How are you running so healthy, buddy? You really got hit your car, I saw the blood. Oh. Okay, it looked like it was moving, but I can't get me on this side, I think. Of course, I go on the road, I can probably actually get there. I can probably get one of the stuff is on the road. I can see shiny on the road. I'm not sure if that's going to be like a useful item or if it's just a random, you know, random pebble. Do I really want to risk going after this ghost treasure? Stay there, buddy. I don't want trouble, okay? Yeah, I don't think the rocks are even doing anything. I'm not sure their purpose is. Let's just keep going. That ghost with this treasure. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a, go a ghost there of the dog. But still, a do it looked like a ghost of the dog, but it was a dog. Oh, you can fast travel these statues as well. Okay. Do we have to pay to fast travel? I'm guessing so. No, okay, that's cool. Good to know. Oh, we can use WNS to tilt the fast I just noticed that. That's cool. Oh, wait, it's WSD to sort of do extra tilting to the flashlight. Okay. Yeah, it just seems like the road has several ghosts on it that I can't fully see right now, but there are ghosts out there. Inside somewhere else? I should look around a bit. 
Yeah, I can, I'm not sure. I'm sure what's going on with the sound. Like, at night, just filled with ghosts everywhere. It's, seems like a pretty bad place to live. new. That does as well. Not sure what they do or what their deal is. Shangle over there just to make sure there's nothing over there. Okay, cool. We stay over on the sidewalk and everything's fine. Just like when walking a dog, keep them on the sidewalk, you won't have to worry about them getting hit by cars. And that's just like, she's just sitting there for a second, thinks about it. Oh god. Okay, still no signs of a- Ooh. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering what the If these ghosts have different behaviors. I imagine they do, because otherwise the game would just get boring with like one or two types of ghosts spread among a dozen different appearances, but I'm not sure. See, I'm going to the game like 99% unspoiled. Oh! I saw something there. Oh, cool, look at one of those star vampires or elder things hanging out here. Good. Just what this town needed. Uh oh, can, that one can walk through there, so gotta be careful about him. I feel like all ghosts should be able to walk through fences, but... What do I know? I don't study ghosts for a living. I was foolish enough to get a writing degree. Look where I am. I mean, I'm saying that, like, my work on Fo the Fox and the Fedora podcast isn't good, but, you know. It doesn't pay the bills, is what I'm saying. It pays for f several different commissions and some games, is about it. Okay, let's wait for him to move one more time, and then we'll figure out what to do. Let's move back toward the fence. Okay, good. Okay, just hiding here for a sec as we... Okay, I wish I could figure out what the... Something about a traffic accident in the sign. Yeah, it's really hard to make out what the text from the sign says. Something, 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 traffic accident of... Vehicles and bicycles. Okay, the fact we're just getting the first tier heartbeat means there's nothing too bad around. Just something in the general area that we might be able to see. Let's save. Cool, and we're still looking for the... Let's get in the school, so... Probably to the left. Yeah, I'm just sort of looking at the area we got here. We got got this area down here and a bunch up here. Okay, safe for now. Yeah, let me look back at those game demos I was talking about. Yeah, there was also The Last Faith, which is sort of a 2D game which seems inspired by Dark Souls, which is pretty, it was pretty fun, had... And then, then there was another Crab's Treasure, which you might know is that game where you're... Dark, Soul, Dark Souls-like game it's where you're a crab trying to get your shell back and you... Use a bunch of other shells as well. Who puts two manhole covers right next to each other? That just seems a little much. Okay, vacant lot of here.
Okay, yeah, let's just leave that guy be since I'm not sure what his deal is and we'll risk this way first. Okay, again, no heartbeat, so I think we're good for now. And there's Dark Blade Ascent, which I remember someone in my stream next to us thing that suggested to me. It was it was okay. I mean, it was basically like a little first person fighting in where you're slaying monsters and going through dungeons. And it was alright. Say so, the Jesus statue in the school pool. There's a secret path by a short tree near it. From tight the path that leads behind you. I guess it counts as a collectible. Yeah, the game says they can react it, but it doesn't seem that way from what I've seen, but... Okay, so let's look for that Jezo statue again. Which one? The one over that way, I think it means? Yeah, most of are super crazy rhythm castle, which is ostensibly a rhythm game, but also more like a rhythm game where you occasionally have to get interrupted to do various little tasks and stuff. It was, it was okay, but it did wind up with me getting, getting a real dislike for the king guy. He's supposed to be the villain, but he's like the kind of villain you really start to dislike. And I've definitely seen that before in like the Serum games where I just really start to hate the god of anger because this whole deal is angry, asshole, and swears a lot. And those were like his three main personality traits, and you really grow to hate him. Yeah, just seeing what was over there. It looked like there's something, but I didn't see anything. Okay. It wasn't this statue, was it? seem like it. And I probably, it's probably not that way I need to go. Uh-huh. Yeah, just someone's eye in the middle of the road. Nothing too bad, weird. Right? Spoiler, it was weird. Okay, I'm guessing in the bushes over on the left here is where I'm supposed to look, but... There's an item on the road. Okay. Sorry, buddy, thought that might have been something cooler as opposed to just some money. But I'm done taking your money. It's okay. And let's see. There was also a game called Empty Shell, which is a top-down sort of a bit of a roguelike game where you're trying, we're going through Philly doing these tasks, and the, but the Phil series clearly had some issues because there's monsters in it. It's it's kind of cool, but I guess the problem is that the Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go to, to the right to get there. And that top down view is like also black and white, so it's hard to tell what's going on sometimes. And I worry that could be a big problem with some some players. There's also Don't Die with the West. Didn't play too much that game, but it seems like a little sort of Stardew Valley, I guess, in a way. But there's also like some gun shooting and stuff to think. Sea Flip was like this little, uh, sort of the game I played is basically a little sort of like that weird go ship, sailing ship, and doing stuff. It let's look more into it sometime because I didn't get too much of a chance to play it. Outpath that was. Oh, right, it's like the sort of base builder slash incremental game. Not seen in the past, actually. I think on Dangerously Funny's channel, it was, it was pretty fun, but you know. 
it's a clicker game, so... Well, not exactly clicker game, there's more to that than just clicking, but... Yeah, it might be something to pick up. I don't know. Usually I just pick up the free ones, because I don't have to pay for them since I'm so poor. Now, let's see, what's... Okay, it sounds like the... Hmm. The way they draw it makes it look like there's a path here, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, wait, there it is. Did I just not see this path before? Yeah, let's just save here. Yeah, there's something up there, but I can't see it because of the Gobble monster. I'm supposed to get past it. Oh. Also, doesn't help that the rocks don't have much range. Yeah, I'm really not liking the fact there's those plants in the way, which means I feel like I can't really tell where the thing is. I'm done stairs. Backpack man. The yeah, thing is, I don't want to go on the road as well because it feels like there are lots of ghosts on there. But then, how am I supposed to get past the got chompy orb? Wait, let me get my the OBS back up in just a sec, just thinking. Ain't right, there's also Lake of Creatures, which is a sort of a mix of a roguelike game and a fishing game. It seemed pretty cool, but I don't think I get the catch of the fishing mechanics. Because I just felt like the medium fish kept running away from me and I didn't get... Oh, oh jeez! Damn, he's sprinting, boy. Well, let's establish what the jump scare is. Just a blood splatter, okay? Okay, jump scare established. I feel like that's how we're supposed to get to the pool, but I don't know how to get by these things. There's two of them, it looks like now. Again, going on the road feels like a bad idea because we just got the running man. You're just gonna body us. Hang on, I do have a bit of an idea. Looks like there's a path to the east. Maybe I can... But wait, wasn't there a guy on that path? that guy. I'm not sure if he's going to run at me. I'm pretty sure he will, but... Oh, fuck it. Let's give it a try. Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay, that was just bugs. 
Okay, that's not the guy I was thinking up that we saw earlier, but moving fairly fast. He's breathing down her neck. Come on, get some speed. Luckily, he's moving at about the same speed, so we should be able to outrun him. Oh, there's nothing back here. Lovely. Okay, there's a path over to the left we can maybe follow. Let's go try that. I mean, the right. If you can search, so you can go down to the four way, go up to right, and then up left. Maybe that'll lead somewhere past the chompy boys. I feel like the manholes only attack you if there's a ghost nearby. I'm trying to see what I can interact with there. Oh, that's new. Let's see. Let me look at the items. I create tree for a pet that looks like a fish. If I give it to animals, they might like me. That's cool, but these aren't animals. They're yokai or spirits. Hi, oh, Squonky. Uh, yeah, this is going pretty good so far. We're pretty early on still, and I think we're in chapter two. It goes right there, and... Okay, that's... Interact with those. Didn't seem to take it first. Oh god, baby. That's never something you want to hear in these games. Okay, let's see. Oh, right, just let me look my map up behind here. Let's see, yeah, maybe we'll go this way instead since I do not trust the sound of babies in these in horror games. Oh. Sir? Sir, it's 3 a.m. Do you know there are ghosts out here? Yeah, how come it's the adults who never get attacked by these ghosts? Of course, the ghosts are not for them. Maybe then they do something about it. I'm trying not to talk too much because Harpy is really how you tell when something's nearby. Okay, that's just a... Okay, it's that thing right there I was looking at. So it looks like that one past just looking at is how we get to the school. Just gonna wait for it to move back a bit, and then we can... Actually, I could try and run beneath it by, but... I feel like we took too long there, so we're gonna have to wait for it to go into position, I can... 
I feel comfortable enough to go sneak by it. Okay, good. Damn, people are just throwing out all their dog treats lately. What, was there some sort of recall? Right, I think the ghosts I'm looking for... Yeah, that's where the ghost was I was thinking of. As long as we stay off the road, we'll be fine. For most of these ghosts, at least. Okay, now let's try seeing how these ghosts like the fish, the food. I mean, it says animals, but... Again, I really hate that you can't really see... because of that bush in the way. What, you don't want the treat? Come on, you seem like hungry boy. Go eat, go eat this, go eat these dog treats. Okay, juke. Oh, third one juke. Is that all? Okay, to the left. Oh, Jesus. I didn't think there were three of those things. Yeah, juke's a hazard. Ooh. Oh, oh, good ghost hands. Oh, looks like they're gone now. Heartbeat still, so that tells me there is something nearby. Yeah, I'm just messing around here because there was a note we got earlier telling us that there's a way to get into the pool around here. But at the same time, I'm being a little worried because getting near these these leaves in a way really prevent me from. See me thinks. Maybe the ghost is in the schoolyard? Maybe, but Young woman has gone missing near the North Pass of the rice fields. Scribbling back port. Yep, Jesus statue near the school pool. Secret path by the short tree nearby. Okay. Is that the pool? Looks like it might be, but it's just covered up. One defense time tree. Cool. Yeah, let's save here. And luckily, it turns out Jesus' statues are the secret to teleportation. So you can go back to the big intersection, that vacant lot, or over here. And cool, we're in. We've got several bushes to hide in when the inevitable ghost shows up. Okay, looks like we need the pool key to get in there. Can't just bash the door down with our shovel or climb over the fence. Doop de doo, work the night shift, five nights Freddy's guy, dum da dum. Yeah, I'm kind of looking down here just in case. Okay, there's a ghost down here. That might be what's scared me false positive. Oh, I can't walk through walls. Okay. Okay. 
I'll give you some space, buddy. Don't worry. It's moving away. That's good. Yeah, school bill's always been a bit broken. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I want to get to school and... So we'll go down this path and Oh jeez. Like on those bitey guys right in the path. Okay, so let's at least check the other path, see if there are any ghosts on that path, then how persistent they'll be. I don't know, I can't take a plastic bag with us. We were able to t pick up a random dry tissue, so... Let's see what's so different about a plastic bag. Oh. The game didn't register... I'm not getting a ghost warning heartbeat from it, but... I still don't trust it. Where's the sports field? Oh. Yeah, it looks like we're officially around the school. I'm not sure where this is a part of the school. It looks like the track field. Yeah, this school's got a real serious garden going on. Head chicken coof, left dumpster, right pool. Oh, this is shoe. Why is it here? Oh, oh, this is this is a cutscene I'm doing right now. I'm not actually controlling it. Good, thank god the spirits are stupid. Yeah, it turns out as long as you hide in the bush, they can't get you. Yeah, that wasn't poor. You saw him already. What's going on? What's up, Protagonist? Oh, I forgot about Sis's shoe. Yeah, I think you'll get sure. Oh. Okay, walking this area, I didn't even know notice that. I thought that was like part of the wall. Yeah, I didn't see the beginning well. For some reason, we're really persistent about finding poor, even though we already know what we're, what happened to him. It... One of those weird, fascinating wind, wind ghosts. I mean, it looks like a cloud of wind to me. I want to look a bit and see if there's anything over here. I'm curious. Yeah, it's probably going to be a clipped moment because, well, it's a real, it's quite the way to start a game off. Yeah, admittedly was spoiled by that moment, but yeah. Is, it gonna, is that thing going to move over here is the question. Let's 
seems like it's patrolling the area, but... Also got a question, wonder if we can... Okay, you can see without the wind. Oh, there's two of them, okay. I'm guessing the question mark is about the statues. What even are those anyways, like... Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I tried to interact with it, but it didn't take for some reason. I'll move back just a bit away. Yeah, there's Sandwalkers, which I think is sort of a game like a Curious Expedition. That was the demo I played. That didn't play too much, but it looked kind of interesting. And there's Rapid and Seal, which I think I remember hearing was mentioned on uh, Rock, Paper, Shock, and that was pretty fun. A little bit of a Toho roguelike game in a way. There's also Headbangers Rhythm Royale, which is a sort of, which is actually a Battle Royale game, which is basically a collection of sort of rhythm mini games, which is pretty interesting. I, I only played one round of it with like, there were like five or six people in the in rest of bots. That seemed pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just making sure I remember that Z is the interact button. I'm gonna do that because I'm trying to figure out how to get to the... Wait, if those are cut off ears, does that mean they'll notice me if I sneak? Okay, it looks like the, if I sneak they won't go after me, I think. So the only problem is just making sure I, they don't bump into me. This kind of reminds me of a monster from a game I played, which was literally called the Beast of... Oh. Was following me there, or was that just a coincidence? Oh, is that thing that wanted me to look at? Oh, what the? These two folks know things that something really ganked me from behind. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if this is a monster or not. It probably is. No, it's not weird. Okay. Okay, so we'll go back to the dumpster at least just to check on that. Okay, I actually gotta see this cutscene again, I guess. Oh wait, no, this is a different cutscene, just the big dog running off the shoe. At least it looks happy. Oop. Got close to something here. I guess it's a hint saying it's dangerous so you shouldn't run in there. I guess that's why this game was saying that these things don't can hear you very well, but can't see. And by the way... Oh, I do have the key still. That's interesting. I thought I'd drop off to get torn up by that thing. Yeah, look. It also looks good. A little, little puzzle game that looked fun. About little visual puzzles. Kind of like that game a little to the left if you've seen it. There was Cobalt Core, which is sort of a skin that's sort of like FTL, except you play with your card, you play card games to fight enemies. That was also a good one. I think it was made by the person who made, a, what was it, Sunshine Enterprises or whatever, which is a game about building spaceships. Yeah, this is a good one as well. Let's see. Finally, back to. Let's. 
Or with switch hand, which again I could describe as a uh, stack lands, but instead you're about building witch towns instead of building a little village. Okay, so if I do have to kick chicken coop, we can at least go back this way. that goes over here maybe on this maybe down this path somewhere just leave it be I need to go hunting for ghosts if they're all just gonna kill us all right gotta go after the dog Okay, got some nail head guy walking down. Is he patrolling the path or where are you? This seems like he's patrolling this pack, so maybe I can. By him, but yeah, I can't tell if he's that high speed guy we saw earlier. Yeah, I'm not seeing like any bushes I can use to sneak to hide him while he's come walking down the path, unfortunately. I feel like we're just gonna have to. Is it by him? Okay, he's not too fast at least. It seems. Hey, okay, looks like there's a, a chicken coop. Looks like it's locked. Okay. Chickens are gonna gonna car, you're just gonna Yeah, these are some pretty lame chickens. They're they're not even gonna commit to the cockadoodle do. Just cocka, and that's that's another word for shit. And that's what these chickens are, so we're not gonna do the whole cockadoodle do. Seems like there's an incinerator up this way. And we haven't seen that dog up here. Yet, so we should probably check up here. Ain't okay, got a bush to hide in. Got this little area here that's nothing. Ooh, Ooh clacker. Keep on hitting it, it makes me kind of happy. That's good. Probably won't help against the ghosts though. Oop. I see something there and also hear something. Oh. Maybe we can distract it with something. Okay, I think I see what you're talking about. Oh, I actually have to throw it first. Oh, I can pick those back up. Okay. Didn't think I could earlier, but okay. Is it like animal treats? No, nope, man face dogs don't like animal treats. Okay, so I guess we do have to go check out the pool this right. Well, I do want to check out the school area, aka the field. 
because it feels like there's a lot of stuff there. Oh. Right, we got this guy patrolling the path. good yeah speaking of Japanese horror games I am going to be playing world of horror this Thursday it's gonna oh jeez didn't know more of those things are spawning okay, what have we got down here Seems like small maze, these guys. But yeah, World of Horror is getting its 1.0 release on Thursday. I'm definitely going to be playing it then. I've gotten a good portion of the achievements back because I think I had a file that lost a lot of it. progress on. I'm missing out on like, let's see, two characters, I think. There's just Mickey, aka the one. The one you get from uh, helping out that rider by getting some pills for grandma and, and then there's the character if we get from having like five curses at the same time i'm still trying to unlock a few of the other outer gods that i unlock after the main game beside the main ones i oh, cool we found a time capsule back here is that the only thing here? I'm not gonna look inside and see if it has like an exorcism kit or something. No. Cool. Jeez, this sounds like a pretty miserable cherry tree. Why don't just chop it down if it's got so much many horrible curses? Someone's buried under this tree. Also, someone hung himself here. Also, the tree will bleed if you cut it. Also, your mom. Also, I made out with your mom underneath the tree. Also, also the tree secretly houses Cthulhu. Also, also, it just keeps going and going and going. I'm not sure if that dog is going to be back there because it's. It seems like I have to do something to get past it, but. Wait. Treat actually gonna work this time. Or do I just have to sneak along the top edge? Yeah, that seemed to work. I don't think I need to quick save here. So no idea what's up with that statue though. Any ghosts doing athletics out in the field? Oop. Oh, rock. Not really sure how useful those are, though, because it doesn't feel like they're helping out that much. Even I'm just playing the game wrong. Something up there. Can't tell what I'm looking at though. I'm guessing I'd go for that, it'll attack me, but. Okay. 
Okay, didn't go actually get, go after me, okay. What's the note say? Mom won't come back home. Where'd she go at this hour? Doesn't seem to be hostile, we'll just leave it be. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm maybe getting a residual ghost from the streets, maybe? I don't know, because I'm not... Oh, okay, there is a guy there. See, she has lots of mistakes. Balled up and thrown out. Yeah. Again, I'm tempted to walking out into the field, but... I feel like that'd be a bad idea at the same time. I don't think I'm seeing too much out here. We'll just leave the field alone now. Not sure why I call that school. More like the track and field. When the school's like the area right behind the chicken coop sign. Three coins, I'll use one now. Yeah, I'm just keeping my out in case another one of those dogs shows up. All dogs do just pop out, bark at you, and then run back. Oh. Something was floating at me. Seems like it's going away, but it's also not a ghost, I think. It looked like a red backpack for a second. I couldn't really make out because I was too busy running. Okay, let's get back to the pool. Yeah, I remember there was a ghost over in the pool area that was getting some little positives over here. Just walking towards it. Okay, looks like there's ghosts in the pool as well. Looks like a evil koi fish. I've dealt with those before. I remember Live Live. You know where we learned who would win. Mimo the ghost of Mimoto Sashi or a huge fucking koi fish. Okay, that's not exactly koi fish. But... Yeah, I'm not sure what, how much they'll be willing to attack me. But... I don't want to tr risk it. Go down when you're running. 
Okay. So far, I'm not seeing anything. And again, I'm unsure how violent the pressure gonna be. I mean, part of me thinks if it's not causing heartbeat, it's not gonna kill me, but don't wanna risk it. Yeah, let's drain the pool, but yeah, it seems like one of those. Yeah, drink by the blood that was in there. It seems like there's a lot of dead people in the pool. Or at least a lot of people have drowned in it over the years, and you. Oh, good. They're still swimming. And here I thought draining the pool meaning it stops. We wouldn't have to deal with the fish anymore. How naive of me. I feel the heartbeats being caused by the shadow and not the fish. But I can't tell. Okay, so I guess we can't actually check the drains. Well, maybe there is something inside one of the drains, is what I'm thinking. Hey fish, are you interested in me? Want to be sure how murderous you're going to be before I go swim running around the bottom of the pool. Also, how are you swimming without any water? You're going up into the oh no, up into the left. I thought I was going to go up into the right there, but no. Fish, look at me. I guess the fish don't care. Oh, cool. I found someone's torn swimsuit. I guess I was right. Someone did drown in here. Green. Puzzle piece. These creepy fish are a lot more docile than I thought they'd be. Oh, there's something in here. A wet bone. Yeah, I think it's dog like that. Now, at least the creepy fish are relatively tame. Why can't you be like that, a shadow ghost? I don't think I can run past them. There's enough room, so we're gonna have to take the long way around. Anyway, yeah, I never did get back to that demo I didn't fully complete on the stream of my work is not yet done. I mean, I have heard good things about it. Like, a number of PC games you are seeing is some of the most engaging demos there, but... Oh, oh, run, run, run! I never really did manage to fully play. I, well, I think I was actually near the end of it. It was... As a person, sort of like, in the video I saw they went to Ben and that wound up being the end of the demo, but... I don't know. Okay, again, we gotta watch out for the fact that we might get a dog after us.
Again, I'm just watching for the bushes in case either the dog pops out or we need to go running into a safe bush. Okay, right from there we head back up that way past the nail head guy and then we can go give the dog to hook a bone. And I imagine it'll be chapter two. Or at least chapter two completed is what I mean. Okay. Yeah, it's funny your stamina drains so much faster when there's something coming running after you. Normally how adrenaline works would be that you'd be running a lot slower. Run, take more energy to get away. You know, just trying to think of how adrenaline works. Okay, so I guess just walk in here and then they'll give it to him. Okay, I can put the bone on here. This is some soft mold that's growing on it. Yummy. Hey boy, eat your bone. Uh-oh. It just means it's got the taste of human flesh. Er, okay, now it's satisfied. Gone for now. Shima's friends does think be gone. Incineration in use at least. And let's take it back to that fish tree it didn't want. Oh, slippers. Apparently sister's really good at playing recorder and boss well, shoes are wearing school. Should be called school shoes then instead of slippers? That's kind of a misleading name. I'll grab this. I'll grab the shoes in a bit. I just want to see what's behind an incinerator. Oh uh, yeah, you can stay there for burning spirit. Seem like you're in a lot of pain. Yep, finally got our shoe. Chapter two completed. Evening. Let's see, there was a funny little demo of a sort of meta game called Buy Me Some Soup, where you're basically trying to play in like an old school Windows thing, trying to buy your friend some soup. Cursor Blade, which is this little game about moving around your uh, cursor to attack enemies, but let's see. Right now, let me actually double check how many chapters are there in the game. It says. The last one I see is. Cleared chapter 7, so I'm guessing that's going to be how far it is. Okay, let's see. So this is Shu. I remember putting this on. She lured some the day she left. She's only wearing one shoe right now. I have no clue where this went, but I have to find her. I should start at the rice fields. Okay, you're being awfully persistent, but sure. I mean, of course, being persistent is, you know, her big sister and all, but still. Where are your parents? Okay, so... Where are the rice fields, anyway? I should zoom out the map. Graveyard, temple, woods... Pond, hill, cliff... I feel like maybe up here, because fields might be close enough in the pond, hill, and cliff area, but I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that specifically says rice fields. Train crossing, the shrine downtown, bridge and factory, the woods, graveyard temple. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's keep going. It's me. Uh, 
Ah, sorry about that. And let's see. I'm gonna go to the right here. Yep, this way near the vacant lots where the fieldish area is. Oh. Wait, what's that X there? Does that mean like the end of the road or something? Maybe. Oh, and I can really just choose to go home at any time and stuff after to worry about walking back home. That's nice. Oh. Alright, just trying to get remember control spit. Especially running and tiptoeing, right? Don't need one, but let's see. I can go here. That's a bit closer I want to go, so we'll do that. Okay, got a nail head over there. I'm thinking that's what the puppy was telling me about, so we'll just. Oh. Yeah, I saw like bloody handprints on the window, so let's see. Can't exactly see past the me sticker, but. Going this way. Mad for an old store. over there. This way is it? Okay, maybe it patrols around that one house on the upper part here. Maybe. Yeah, it does seem like the case, just like it's patrolling this one little block. So I should be able to go this way and just tail behind it as it goes around. Yeah, that should work. Just keep moving. Good. Oh, and hey, Neko, VT, thanks for the fall. We're doing some Yomawari today to raise money for a stream for a cause. It's a little grassroots thing that raises money for grassroots charities and such. We're about in chapter three right now, trying to find the race fields. I'm thinking they're up here. Yeah, th welcome on in. Okay, go straight there. So I'm gonna probably check to the left first. Actually, no, he's moving that way, so we'll just juke by. Cool. Bush. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't worry about lurking. Just being here is nothing. Thank just I always appreciate the fall and all that, so don't don't feel too bad about lurking. Oop. What? I'm Miss Mary. I'm right behind you. Oh. Yeah, not sure which got me first. The obvious look don't look behind you thing or the or the nail headed, but either way, okay, okay, yeah, looks like we do have to spend the coin to not respawn there, but but it's not too bad since we didn't really un since the warp point was right here anyway, so you know we weren't missing too much by having to warp back there. If we do find a statue up there, we're definitely going to save that at.
right there was nail head up here okay since that face seems to go around this way counterclockwise this way Something's close, so we'll just. I'm not sure if that's the face or not. Maybe it got hurt the horse and just went to go look, see what's going on. Okay, we're safe. Okay, again. Okay, which way it moves, we'll figure out which way we want to go. Okay, it looks like there's that guy blocking a pass, so I'll probably just go that back the other way. Let's see, it's over here though. Looks like a little shrine. I think it's hearing the, the stuff from down there. We got a little doll. Doll's pretty black hair. Sometimes it looks like it's staring into me. I'm still not sure what that bouncy thing is, but it's not killing us, so we're fine. Little one there. Yeah, we'll just. Leave that be, especially since it's sometimes a bit hard to tell which direction the heartbeat is warning you about. Okay, we have this guy there, so we're gonna have to turn back. Let's look up here. Again, I want to try and find the G Jesus statue so we can quick save our progress and find a new warp point. Hmm. This leads to the ponds, which I don't think is where we want to go right now, so we're gonna... Let's check... Yeah, we're gonna go to the towards the field. I think that's going to be the rice field it's talking about because the game doesn't really say which ones are the rice fields in it. It says we're supposed to check the rice fields, but I'm not seeing it on the map like I said. Yeah, it's like the woods, the graveyard, the temple. Yeah, no mention of a rice field on this map that I can see. Past this vacant lot. I'm gonna look for a quick second. Look at a human bone. Nice. Lovely. Oh, cool. There's a statue here. Okay, put the coin there just in case that. Marks it for, for fast travel location.
Yeah, I'm definitely thinking we're gonna have to head this way later. It doesn't seem like there's much that way. And I doubt that's where the rice fields are. At least there are no ghosts out here, that's always nice. If I to me with all these ghosts hanging out here, I'd just hang out on the highway for until dawn and then we could just be safe from all the ghosts. Then again, our house is also safe from the ghosts, that'd probably work as well. If okay, see cell phone, we'll just ignore it. And there's a ghost over this way that I ran into as well. So, in this way, oh. Okay, it went behind the house, which is a problem because I Okay, it's coming back up this way. Okay, I think we're getting over close there. Oh. Battery's getting a bit low. Good. We've got one of those classic long-haired ghosts over there. Maybe we should not head that way. In fact, I think we're just hiding the bush for like the next hour or two because of that ghost. I mean, traditionally that's how it's your best deal with any of those good old long-haired Japanese ghosts, but... Our girls really insist on going looking for a sister, so... Let's see. Long, long woman gone missing north past the rice fields. Okay, I, th I think we saw that notification before. Uh, I was gonna go for the statue, but... Now I'm a little scared. Are just gonna wander some interdimensional mouth and get devoured. Yeah, I'm thinking that's just the wind I'm hearing, but it's still creeping me out a bit. Yeah, it definitely seems to be the wind. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the mouth causing the heartbeat or... What, but... I'm on the other side, but the bridge is broken. Get over there or something? You would probably jump it. Doesn't look that bad. Come on, just go to a good running jump and you can, you can leap over it right Nice and Kobe-like. Someone's in a rush to get into his position. Jeez. Yeah, it's gonna say, imagine he just ran into me, killed me like that. Be a little BS, but. OK, 
Okay. Probably gonna have to run around the corner. Now! Twinkle, there's just a dead body swimming in the pool. And I mean it when I say swimming, it seems. Wait, and by swimming, I mean it's just actually just floating through the air. Is that... Is that supposed to happen in the game? Just like... I mean, it's running a little water ripples, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm just... Don't mind the lack of volume. I'm just checking something real quick, and... The game fortunately closes, unfortunately closes out the volume when I'm looking, when I'm looking away. Just catching up on, like... You know, just like four or five Discord notifications, and you know, I get a anxious if I ch go without checking them because it makes me think that something's going on. Okay, looks like there's nothing too serious going on. I'm gonna say, it gives me an opportunity to let the ghosts wander away a bit. Ghost, you gonna move? Or are we gonna have to literally just run from the ghost? To... It seems stuck there, so one, two, three. Okay, at least I can juke it pretty well. It's... Not sure how a floating corpse like that is gonna kill me, but probably shouldn't ask questions I don't want to know the answers to. Again, why are we trying to follow this weird, this that ghost? I mean, it feels like the long-haired Japanese ghost is a classic trope in war, so I really feel like we shouldn't be following it. But let's do that anyway and see what happens, huh? Sorry, maybe staying at a big old religious shrine will actually protect us. Spoiler: It won't. But it's nice to imagine that the spirits will actually try to protect us. But... Oh. Where the hell do you come from, buddy? Trying to rock see if it distract him, but again, it feels like the rock pebbles really aren't useful in this game. Okay, so nothing at the shrine, but maybe if we head this way, we'll just have to. Okay, so they can still see us even there, but. Good to know. But at least I don't need the flashlight to see him. Ooh, okay. Yeah, good thing got in the bushes. There's something right there I didn't see. It looks like a nail head was patrolling that route. That was what was going on. I think it's gone back.
in there for a sec. Was another one of those ghosts just running by? I was doing way too good sneaking up on me. Ah, oh. uh, great. Now she's here. Okay. okay, let's just jump in here if it's to figure things out. And I'm sorry, I probably should be hiding if there's a if there's you know the old long-haired ghost walking around. Is that like a growling or something? It does sound like something. Cool, soft wood board. Softwood board may sound like it might break for use, but I guess that we're supposed to do to get over up to the hill and cliff area. Yeah, I guess just go straight and we should get to the field this way. Just gotta run from the creepy watery ghost, which is somehow making ripples in the air. Oh, ah! Get off, get off, get off! Okay, so we've got this guy patrolling this route. Okay, it's just gonna happen every time it feels like. Lovely. Oh. I could hear the invisible ghost getting close, so. Okay, back here. I think I remember there being an achievement for kicking the can enough times, but. I'm not going to be, like, super going for it, but, you know, might as, well, might as well kick around a bit. Oh. At first sec, I thought it couldn't go through those walls, but then it just did. How well. And also, I'm starting to think that maybe kicking those things will cause the ghosts to hear me, but. Yeah, I like how the game even says it looks dangerous to use it. Oh. Hang on, fire summary. Yeah, I just got a little pop-up about a recent scan the computer did. Just tell me that everything's cool. Oh. Ooh, a piece of candy. And the black note. Yeah, let's take a look at that. It's gonna kill me. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Why do I have to die? Like I told you, it was a bad idea to go chasing after the long-haired black -haired Japanese ghost. <gasps> and again, this. <laughs> Yeah, and again, the little black ghost just runs up in front of us, just kept playing catch up. Yeah, it's a little funny at times, but then it really runs in front of you when you're in chase sequence, and it's not as funny. I 
Okay, so it looks like I just have to deal with her for when I'm on this side, and she just immediately leaves one. I go over here. Okay. So I guess this is the closest thing this game has to boss fight right now. A boss fight. Running from the ch running from Sadako. I swear that's a stock scream there with a little, <gasps> little gasp. It's like a stock gasp. <gasps> ah, she, she puked all over me and melted my face. Usually you pop back here with the mouth, hoping that we'll accidentally walk into it. Yeah, it looks like those... You got like these two fields right here, which you gotta go like up this way and then up the path is what I'm thinking. Oh, of course, there's lock gate as well. And no, the gate didn't work, of course. Oh, wait, the notes. No, it says something else. It says, smudge smoke. It says, give it back, give it back. I wonder who it was for. Wait a minute. That's not what this note says at all. Oh. Hey, is it not good? she sing? Ah! Where'd Sako go? We're having a perfectly fun boss fight, and then you just decide to wander off. Nothing over there, just that ghost. Ground ghost over here. Hmm. Where's the key supposed to be? It's weird, maybe it's a bug of some sort? Not unlike the spider on my face? Hmm. I am supposed to do something with the broken pendant. Somewhere else, at least. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to grab is right behind her, but it's hard to do when she's chasing me. Okay. Oh. Spirit running into position. Sandwich me right between her and that next spirit. Okay. There was an achievement for dying three times, so we'll see if we get it during the playthrough, but. Okay, there's a bush hidden right there. Could barely see it. Okay, so we've got to pick it past your grab what I think is going to be the. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, Pinko, that was a pretty bra moment, just having her spawn right in front of me when the ghost was literally right behind me. Okay, so we gotta grab what I think is the key back there, and then we gotta run to the gate and... Okay, good. Oh. 
Okay, that time she's moving a lot faster, feels like. It feels like there's a second or two before she throws up. And again, what'd she eat that just have her throwing up when me just gets blood all over my screen and kills me? Again, probably don't want to know. Well, at least the ghost didn't show up that time, but again, it feels like her vomiting move is way too fast all of a sudden. I was literally out of range and I just walked right into the spike. Yeah, I just noticed I was lasting a little too long after that attack animation went going. Yeah, again, I'm wondering if the better tactic is to try and go around to grab the key and head back out, or try and grab the key now and then make our way to the gate. I'm feeling like the latter, but it's kind of hard to do that when she's... <gasps> okay, who dodged that one. Oh, right, I already got the key. Right, I guess the game doesn't actually drop the items when you die. And it's a little, a little bit cheesy, but I don't mind too much. Again, I thought I was out of range for, I was out of range for like a second and walked right into it, it looks like. Okay. Film this time. So we'll go to the right this time. That's the spiders, but we'll have our spirit run past us, and we should be able to get to the gate. So I feel like that gateway is slightly less of a running distance to get to the gate. Okay. Phew. Yeah, I guess she just appears around this area. There we go, here. And save. And this time there's no creepy mouth right next to it as well. There's some flickering lights, which is a lot less painful. This head, good, good. Oh. Something wrong with the flashlight. Ah, great. Perfect time to run the batteries, huh? Ah, great. You again? Did she find us in the bush? Haha! -ha! Ghost one weakness. Shrubbery. Also, signs that are asking people to help them. Right information about a traffic accident. Okay, she's gone. I'm guessing I just have to run the path with her attacking us. Oh. Yep, there she is. Looks like that's gonna be the case. Yeah, I'm not sure what's at the top of the cliff, but it feels like there's something, so... It's a bit of a branching path, it looks like. Well, actually, to it, in fact, up to the hill. Okay, so I want to save my energy until she moves into attack. Young woman's gone missing, possibly shot off cliff. Searching put on hold due to landslides. It's like, it's like my character. Wait, is that the woman you're talking about? Yeah, good news, guys. I found that woman you're looking for. Bad news, she's trying to puke on me. And also, in the PM with her hair. She's been using way too much hairspray. That thing's like 
neat knife sharp. Search and put and hold. And the continued search can be too dangerous. The rest of the grip for Spencer set been dead. Okay. Yeah, no game, you don't. I like how the game literally turned on the flashlight just so it could have it die out. Okay, so don't go down that path because it's just going to be saying, yeah, we gave up searching for that woman's corpse and now she's gone on a murder rampage and is being an evil ghost and all. They have her briefly disappear, just have her pop up back there again. <gasps> oh. Aha! Which protected me from the puke. I mean, I know she's gonna come running back the second I pop out, but this does give me a bit of a pride from her attacking me at least. And she goes walks off far away, that gives me several seconds where she doesn't go after me, so we'll try and take advantage of that. Which way to go? <gasps> Again, I'm not sure what what she's used throwing up that's doing that much damage to you. I know stomach acid is a thing, but like, how acidic is this? <gasps> yeah, I see that's a stock gasp sound effect I'm hearing. Because I literally remember hearing it like some of the old stick flash days of stick stick figure animations. Like me from the hair bush. Good thing I didn't reverse those last two words. <laughs> Yeah, I'm curious what's in the other paths, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I should be taking those paths. Yeah, I'm not sure why they have her just finish for like a half a second and just pop up again. <gasps> It just feels like it doesn't do anything. I get here that here they're trying to be like, which way do I go when I have this monster ghost chasing me, but... Still. Okay, don't think the hands actually do anything. It's just like a creepy thing that happens when a ghost is nearby. Oh, hey, I found her. This is... <gasps> oh, I'm trying to use the... Yeah, I'm trying to give you back your pendant. If you just wait a few more seconds, you'd have had it. But now I'm dead, and you gotta wait several more minutes. So there. Yeah, look. Yeah, because in your note literally said give it back, and I was trying to give it back, but... Then he puked on me and I died. My skin can't handle your vomit. Again, it's just weird how it's just like they... Go a few bit and then they instantly vanish and make a reappear again. It's like, I don't get their going for there.
And again, just making use of bushes to try and keep her aggro off us for as long as possible. And go. Now remember, go down the cliff so we can find her. I'm sure I'm supposed to give it back the necklace, I think. Yeah, it was really that hard to find rescue spirit rescue folks. Yep, yeah, here you go. Now you will you, will you chill? What do you think, Sadako? Thank you. Uh, game, you're gonna focus on us now. Oh, you giving her some flowers for yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm not sure why she just ran off for like several seconds and ran back. It's some odd choices of cuts, cutscene choices here, to be honest. Chapter 3 complete, Midnight. Alone. Why are all the spirits scaring me? I just want to see my sis. I'm sad because I can't be with her. The spirits are dying must be only two. I should be a little nicer to them. Yeah, you should still be nicer to things are trying to kill you. That's... I mean, I'm sure you could probably just say, but Undertale, but still, I mean... It's like, I tried to give them some of those things food, but they don't want it. Okay, so what do you want to say now? Again, go find Sis and Poro. So again, we don't really have much to go off right now. All the good news, we got fresh batteries again. But now that we don't have Sadako chasing us, I do want to check out this area a bit more. I'm wondering if more ghosts have moved in now that we found the lady. And I gotta say, those rescue people really suck. I mean, it wasn't that hard to find her. She's literally just right off the path. How dumb th are these rescue guys anyway? We're paying them too much, damn it. Yeah, this is just a dead end. Just wanted to make sure. Right up here is like a little lake looking area. If I remember correctly. In the map. Ooh, puzzle piece 10. And a torn shirt. What's with the light blue though? That looks like a lake of some sort. Oh, I can collect more down here. An old shirt that was balled up on the street. It's all sun fade and beat up. The street? You found it on a pa side path. Someone was burying the ground. He looked sad, so I snuck him out. And also these 3D puzzle pieces. I've been collecting for like a puzzle. But yeah, he looks sad like there's a, a priest weird reason to go messing around with human remains. And again, the torn shirt was found in the middle of the on a hiking trail, not in the not in the street. We found part two.
mechanical part. I've never seen before. You'll get a bunch of them to build something. That looks like a screw. Have you just not seen what screws are like? And the fingernail on the edge of a cliff. Long nail with light red nail polish on it, buried in the dirt. I'm guessing that was supposed to be from Sadako or whatever, whatever that wood was supposed to be. And I doubt there's anything back down where her grave is. Anyway, let's get back and try for where we're supposed to head next, so... Let's see, we could go up to the pond, check out... Train crossing down here. Check out the X there. Again, really not sure where we're supposed to go now. It feels like we're not getting much direction. I mean, I suppose that sort of makes sense since, you know, we're, we don't know where we're supposed to look or we're not getting any real hints or anything, but still. I would at least appreciate her journal saying, maybe we should go check out this area. And just checking to see if there's anything else that we need to check out here. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Yeah, I think I'll check the pond next, actually, so... Where'd the mouth go? Did it leave? That's good, I suppose. I am curious. Okay, now we can't go down, walk down the train tracks. Can't pull a stand by me, I guess. Probably for the best. There'll be way more areas to explore. Just keep walking. I'm guessing she attacks if you pick up the phone and then look behind you, but I'm just not going to pick it up in the first place. Okay, yeah, let's see if there's anything down the pond path. Well, for one thing, there's ghosts. I was hoping they're hoping to be able to be told where the... Okay, I guess we're not going this way then. So let's see. We'll go back to the field, warp back to uh, near the home, and go south from there, I guess. Back up that phone bill, I don't care. Yeah, I saw it coming up from the upper from the lower left, so let's see. Just gotta get to the Jesus statue and then we'll warp home and Actually I could just go home. Not sure how that we get home, just we just say, you know, I want to go home. Oh, we're actually adding some of the stuff we find to our room, I think. There's a Japanese doll and a human skull. Again, we really shouldn't be just going we really shouldn't be collecting in the clapper thing on the ground there. Still, we really shouldn't be good just putting a human skull in our room. That's what's mom and dad gonna think? So it's like, honey, I'm a little worried about our daughter. Why is that? Well, she's been collecting human skulls again. I'm trying to pick up the... Right, it was Z. I do appreciate that they at least let you pick up the stuff once you throw it. 
Okay, so right down this way is where we're looking, planning next. Okay, something down that way. Oh. Boro? Won't go that way in a bit, I just want to peek around this way. Oh. Okay, got some railhead patrolling the sidewalk. It looks Go. Oh, there he is. I guess just put trolls around this it's railing, it seems. This leads back up to the park. Oop. Pardon me, dull hand. You forgot your your horse is running around. Not sure, what that's all about. Okay, I see what that's over there. It's gonna say it doesn't seem like something that's supposed to hurt me because it's it wasn't doing a heartbeat at all, but you know, like that weird walking statue over in the I saw something spark over there. Over in the sports field, that didn't hurt us at all, despite the fact that it clearly looks supernatural, but maybe it's part of a puzzle later on. Like nail heads around here. There he is. In this case, let's just go down here and let him walk by. Luckily, it doesn't have that weird running guy that was on the other road. are going down to the train crossing shrine downtown woods area oh. bud what you unlocked cat feed a cat fed a cat go I pet you But he seems happy now. Honestly, those fish treats are worth or useful for something after, like what, two hours of gameplay? Two and a half according to my timer. All right, let's keep the flashlight on. A train crossing to the right, or right down here. I guess they walk up to there's gonna be cutscene or? Dog parking might be Poro. 
Again, I don't know why she's so obsessed with trying to find Poro, given that, you know, she saw him die. We saw him die. I mean... She's so determined to go looking for a dog, so she can keep going. Oop. What do we got down here? I mean, I gotta want to look for her sister, because she may or may not still be alive, but... Poro is... Okay, there's something over there, but I'm not sure what. I mean, yeah, we're seeing his spirit, but still. Gotta learn to let go, oh, protagonist, whatever your name is. Okay, another statue. Oh! The heartbeat was not going that fast for me. Oh, I'm trying to get put into the sign. Let's try one more time. Yeah, there literally wasn't, was no heartbeat that time. What's going on? Game, you're supposed to give me the heartbeat when there's a monster nearby. Like that one, see? Besides, Roots give me a thing that we're only supposed to be going to be able to dodge that force our prior knowledge. There's something up here I can't tell because again the knee marker is just blocking the part of the map. We gotta check the woods out eventually. Oh, there he is. Just shoving the, the bush out of habit now after last time. Seems like it was a good idea, though. Which ones are these two? Okay, it looks like we had the big, really big one there. Not sure about the other one. Probably also the another big one. Yeah. You can see him walking off over there. What's up, boy? Did Timmy fall down the well again? Nice get in nature. Hopefully far away from all the spirits. Ah, who am I kidding? There are spirits everywhere and they all want to kill us. Oh! See? Just like that! Oh, good. Great. Jesus statue's broken. What do you want, boy? Dirty key found. For some reason, it's very cold. Again, we should probably just stay home, make some hot chocolate, and try not to worry about all the ghosts roaming around the town. And There's a statue. Uh-oh. Rocky's angry. I'm sure it's all the 
broken Jesus statues here, but... Okay, maybe this is where the rocks are supposed to be coming handy. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's weird how it feels like two out of three consumables we get are basically worthless for like most of the game. Hey, cool, a dead bug! A little dead bug. Old and hard, but it's still pretty and shiny and green. Yeah, I feel like a character just has, has a bit of a recording problem. I mean, he said, like, you know, Viking vi characters don't do that. Numerous ports missing children, you know. Very good. Please don't leave your child unattended and don't leave them outside of the dark. Well, this can't stop me because I don't. I refuse to read it. Uh, can I interact with escape? Game? Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking the Rocky guy is another thing I have to sneak by, like, those clouds of ears we saw a while back at school. So, we'll try that. Maybe they just don't like the light. What well, could be? Hang on. Okay, theory one, we're gonna approach it with the... It's on, see how it reacts. Okay, it's grumpy. Now we're gonna let it be for a sec and then approach it with off. Hmm. Okay, so don't shine the light at it. Okay. Okay, those are some roots. I thought that was a ghost there. I'm not sure if there's anything else to upset the rock heads, but... As long as you keep a decent distance and... Don't turn on the flash that we should be okay. Okay, it's not even showing the little notification symbol anymore. You know, like the little question mark exclamation points that pop up when we're close to somebody we can interact with. What's going on? Or maybe it's because the lights, light, light's not on. Let me test this out. Okay, yeah, that's why. Oh good, we're going to a temple in the graveyard. Again, perfect places to go to during a spirit-infested night. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, I should have known that eventually have, have something... have a combination of rockheads and something we can't see without the light. Try topping mad right now, but yeah, they definitely don't like having light shown on them. Yeah, I think we were basically stuck there, it wasn't moving at all. like the light so much. I wonder why it's sitting in the spotlight there. More importantly, I'm not sure why they have spotlights in the forest like this. It's... Again, bees are light. Bees run. Q is tiptoe. Okay, I just got an achievement for playing for 10 minutes without the flashlight on. Okay, 
it's hard to tell which of these is the from Okay, there. Okay, spooky thing is right there. Yeah, it's just like patrolling right by the bush, it looks like, so. Just gotta work our way around the bush so we can walk by this thing. Yeah, just jumping back in just in case it was on our tail still. Okay, once it walks back a bit, we'll keep moving. Dog shells just going at it. More marble. Okay, let's go to the swift first. We have several of these guys, but don't worry, they won't get pissed as long as we keep the light off. Oh good, there's like a few of them blocking away, so I guess we're not going this way now. So yeah, let's go to the graveyard again. Perfect place to go in a spirit infested night. Step back because I wasn't sure if this fast harpy was that thing or something else. So we saw a few minutes ago having a faster harpy like that can. Oh, we got 10 matches. Oh. Let me check the inventory, see what they have to say. Might think sprite, but I'm not supposed to play with matches. Well, you're also not supposed to be running around the middle of the night in a forest with tons of ghosts and such, so. So I guess we're on impasse. Okay, let's just for how these work quickly. Okay, I just throw it and it creates a tiny light. I suspect I'm supposed to throw out the barricade. Okay, yeah, they just swarm the light and then they'll go out and they'll go back to sleep. Okay. Can I just imagine someone posting all the oh my dog emotes in chat? Just the howl all the howling. And geez, someone's not maintaining the shrine very well if both of those Jesus stashes are broken. What about this one? Is this one working? Yes, now please protect me from the crabby hands. Oh good, we've got a chomper ball on the left. I feel like there's a secret over the side, but I don't have to get past all this stuff to check it out. Oh. Is it moving back this way? Hey, 
good. No white here, calm down. Yeah. Even though I've got monsters that react to light, now I'm worried about using the flashlight at all. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to see it didn't look like one at first, so I was just trying to give it a careful poke to see if I could see what it was, but Okay, kind of gonna check that path because I just feel like there's gonna be some side stuff down there, like the puzzle pieces or those parts, whatever those are for. Okay, the eye's down there, but just stay away from it and don't use the flashlight. It's coming up this way. Okay, let's just sneak over here and let it move by us. Where are you guys hiding anyway? He's chasing us, but it's not super fast, so we can. There's nothing here. Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess I can only see if I have the light on. Okay. I'm guessing there's something underneath all those statues, but I have to throw down the light and then shine the light on there first to see it. I do want the mouth to go away, just, uh... Or the eyeball, at least, whatever you want to call it, because it just turns between the two, whether, depending on whether or not it's chasing me, so... You can call it eye or mouth, it doesn't... Either way, one works. Okay, so... Okay, only a few of them are going after it, so... Do it. Then I'll feel comfortable enough searching this area. Okay. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Award. Picked up a trophy. Shen Award for me, who's doing her best. Congratulations. Thank you. Shen Award doing her best in this hellish place. And of course there's something over there that's it's being hidden by the lack of light. I knew they'd use that whole thick mechanic again. Okay, we can sprint by this guy since it's really not very fast. Still not sure what the Ooh, broken pencil. Okay, I'm really not sure what the point of the Broken Jesus statues of and just be creep or creepy. I don't think the grab hands can kill us. Yeah, they're just being weird is all. Quit being so handsy, please. Oh, cool, I was wondering if we are going to get more matches anytime soon. Okay, 
good. We got more of these stone heads. Quick check to make sure there wasn't anything else here. Okay, something else got me before the stone heads could. Okay, yeah, I'm in that little purple area right there. Just gotta get past that and then we can continue on the path. My heart's jumping around wildly, but we're okay. I thought that path down would have something on it, but I guess not. It's fine. Just keep moving. I saw something to the left here. Yeah. Again, the hands keep making me jump, but they're not really doing anything. Okay, nail head here. I'm not seeing any statues, so we're good on that front. Okay, we're good for now. Yeah, excited for World of Horror tomorrow on Thursday. Where I'm moving up Thursday partially because of World of Horror releasing on that day, and partially because I'm going to be doing some babysitting this weekend for my baby cousin Carter. Oop. Yeah, I'm going to be going all weekend, which means I am going to miss the release of version 1.0 for them, Doctor, by a little bit, but. Oh. You know, once again, the spirits are just rushing in to get to their positions. But I am planning on doing a video of it on Sunday and then posting on YouTube. I'm doing a video of it instead of a stream because I figured that's going to be fairly short, so I figured that doing a whole stream of the thing wouldn't be necessary. Okay, alright, E is how we run. Okay, there's something right down there, but... my way. Lucerno and a pebble. Now let's get out of this graveyard. Like I said, terrible place to be in this, this sort of place. I've been looking, but I can't find you. Are you gone forever? Please, is what it says. Let's get the rocks out of the way. I'm not sure if they can kill me if they're an active, so I'll throw one more just to be safe. Oop. Yeah, I'm shining light up there just to throw any items up there, but it doesn't seem like it. Cool, quick save. I'm not sure we're going at this, this point, but we're going pretty far up the mountain, it looks like. And how many coins do we have? One left. Once again, the dogs are going wild. Oh, newspaper. Maybe this has some important lore on it. An article about a festival worshipping a nearby mountain. That's nice. Oh. I see a lot of those ice spirits up there. Get into position. Oh. Good thing I didn't have to run any further, otherwise I've gotten all the rocks angry at me again. Okay. I'm gonna move back a bit. Oh. 
gotta say those eyeballs do remind me of that one enemy from Trey, which is basically an upgrade demon eye where when you kill it once it turns in its face is replaced with a mouth and you have to have to kill it again. Oh good, I can't even walk on the grass here. Man, I thought the jukes earlier were, were pretty wild. Now we've got like a small army of the damn things. Looks like we can find that gate back there if we go a bit further. Maybe we'll finally let us open it. Okay, there we go. Could have sworn I had that key earlier, but I guess it's only working now. That's weird. up here and figure out what all the dogs are barking at. And then we just wind up at a haunted dog shelter. Another puzzle piece. down here oh okay he's okay he, I see okay I was just getting a little confused Poro wake up he's been down here for a while kid he's I mean I'm surprised after that first thing he still thought he was alive yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to interact with her to get her to realize that he's not gonna wake up I mean he's been down there for yeah, sorry, kid, but he's been down there for hours, and should have seen the blood stain. I'm surprised he still thought he was around here after all this time. Chief unlocked. Finally realized that your dog is dead. What's with that blackout? Is something going on? He got that shovel. Why not do a grave for him? Again, still, what a f pretty fucked up way to begin a game. Just like teaching you how to, bear to throw stuff and then you, you just wind up actually killing your dog as a result of it. And of course that jackass in, in this car. How'd you get all those stones there? Normally throw your pebbles like a, you know, girl, but... More poppies. Fun fact, protagonist, the people in Stardew Valley usually hate poppies, so... The fact you're giving them to your dog is pretty offensive. I kid, but still. Oop. And let's just switch back to rocks so we don't waste our important matches. So, what are we doing now? Are you just gonna walk out of the forest or what? Or are we gonna have to deal with like a big scary monster attacking us? Oh. Jump! Oh, ghost train, of course. Where's collar found? Where's collar? How'd it get so far away from him? I'm sorry, Poro. I listened to the tutorial and it got you killed. Moonless night, chapter four cleared. So I think that puts us like over halfway through the day. I buried Poro. Poro died because of me. I couldn't tell sis about him. If I didn't throw a rock, I was able to tell my sis, what should I do? What should I do? Sis, will you be okay? Yeah, now we gotta deal with the fact that there's... Apparently at midnight, the town just gets filled with spirits. 
I mean, I gotta say, why would you throw a rock for your dog? That doesn't feel like the best thing for to play fetch with your dog. And also, what are mom and dad gonna think again? Keep talking about our sis, but we never think about our mom, our parents. Okay, so now where? I'm guessing you gotta go to the shrine downtown area. Yeah, oh yeah, it does say right there, search downtown. Yeah, I kind of thought it'd be like last time where it's not gonna actually tell us where we're supposed to go until we keep searching. Okay, we're doing it again? Jeez. I thought having me having to dodge the creepy ghost once was enough. Ooh, key. Self key to the south fence downtown. It's kind of bent. I hope I can use it. I got that wacky looking thing down. Oh. Got that, that wacky looking thing down there again. The only thing I'm seeing down there, just the big old ghost of the goofy looking with a really wacky face. One of those guys today. I guess you're supposed to act like barriers so I can't go past them. Like the game's version of a we don't need to do go there right now sort of deal. So we can't go past that one. Again, just ducking past there out of instinct because they just the fact they have that little monster just jump out at you. Which is also again kind of rude because as again the game doesn't give you warning, it kills you, and there's not even like a warning heartbeat. Again, just hide in the bush because one good thing about it is that it actually sort of gives you an idea where the monsters are. Another one just down there. I'm seeing a question mark. What's. What you, oh, it's the bush. A red trinket. Should be a bit more specific, game. A charm that has a scent to be marking it. Bright red color hasn't faded. Okay, why not red charm then? But whatever. Okay, let's check the shrine first of all. Again, maybe this nice little Shinto shrine will protect us from the spirits. You just hear a big old laugh track play. Oh cool, someone left their wall on the ground here. And I think I know this thing's supposed to be scary, but it actually just looks kind of goofy looking to me. Not gonna make a donation. Cool puzzle piece four. Yeah, she doesn't donate, just takes money off the ground and a puzzle piece, refuses to elaborate, and leaves. Cool move, sis. That's not going to anger the spirits or anything. We were just talking about how you're going to try and be nicer to them. Oh. Again, game, really? I could have sworn I saved that that Jesus statue. Jeez. Again, it's really rude that the game's just having like these monsters just rush me in. And the game doesn't even give me a warning like about that just. I can sort of see why the game has a mostly positive slash mixed reviews on Steam.
I don't want to say it's bad, but doing that thing like twice in the game is... It's like, okay, we get it. I'm joking at me, that traffic accident sign explains why there's so many monsters here. There's such a big traffic accident that just every single one of those spirits is out to kill me now. Okay, so once we get down here, look around for... Oop. Didn't notice to stop there. And this time there's even like a place I can hide at. What am I supposed to do, game? He said, search downtown, I'm trying to. But then you have these jump scare monsters kill me. It's not like I can go another place because we got those big freaking monsters in the way. Just sitting around googly eye, making their weird little faces. I like to get past that guy, but he's not moving. Unless you're trying to tell me that this is the part of the game where, Mac, where, the, where the rocks I've been hoarding are actually useful. down here see if there's a place I'm supposed to hide down here instead. Nope, that's the item on the ground I'm looking at. Okay, maybe if I... Okay, so I guess I just run straight ahead is what's going on. Some just left their pair of shoes in the middle of the street. One of shoes placed neatly together. I wonder who put them here. Yeah, the people of this town are weird. We should really just move out here. After this whole adventure's over. Too many ghosts at night. People leaving their shoes in neatly in the middle of the street. I don't like this place. Probably mall coming soon. Area should re people here should relocate for construction. Ah, capitalism. Plastic camera, huh? Simple throwaway camera. Oh, okay. One of those disposable cameras. Yeah, I'm just stuck in here because now I'm really not trusting the game with those those monsters that rush you. Ooh, puzzle piece, nice. Ooh, ramen. Seems the kind, but still. Oh, it's not open cup of noodles that's steaming. Looks really warm. Again, these people in this place in this town is kind of weird. They're just throwing out the cup of ramen in the middle of the street. You gotta keep the creepy girl warping around. That's coming. Let's give him some space. Let's see, I think we can go around here. I was just 
shining away because of the creepy girl in the way. I'm sure little girl's supposed to be her behavior is she just warps around, I guess, but. I go into the southeast in a sec. I just want to look around here and what's that thing there? What are those, like plates of rice or something? I have to run. Miss Mari, I'm not calling. Is that a phone ringing? It says, just leave it be, because last time one ring it finally let's pick it up. Oh great, we're in that Silent Hill Otherworld now. So we just gotta run now or at least you have money here. Seriously, what did I tell you about answering weird phones in the middle of the in this sort of situation? Last time you answered your phone, a woman stabbed you in the back, and now we're entrapped in some hell dimension. I'm not even sure what is going on with this whole weird dimension anyways. This seems more like that this whole area is just been wrapped around by the big monster, whatever we're looking at. Oh. The music looping got me, made me jump for a sec. I do wonder where all the people are. Are they just all asleep, not noticing the fact their town's full of spirits? Or oh. I was wondering what you were doing, jeez. Right now, it actually is a boss fight going on. I'm sorry about considering my stamina next time it show for next time it shows up. those ghosts that way. Oh. Nice try, game. Not gonna get to jump on me again. Oh, oh I hit a total 50 times. Cheap unlocked. Okay, it's to the north. Not that I can tell what it is. Yeah, I can see it moving up there. Oh. And we've got a random mouth in this middle of the place. Remember, I remember you. It's quote unquote good to have you back. Oh, you're new, 
Mr. Hanged Man. Just hanging around. Ha ha ha. This weird other world war we're in. Again, game. Okay, so we're we gonna. S okay, we are gonna be stuck starting out in the other world. Someone's cleaning up those crates that got knocked over. Okay. That might be useful to get out of here, but I really don't know because again, it feels like we're a bit of an under other world area. Key to the north fence downtown. Not really sure where that is. But... the northeast side I can find where the thing is. here. these two wandering spirits up here and I'm not don't think that's where I'm supposed to go though mm. oh. you got two keys not sure to use them oh. maybe there South key. Cool, lock opened. Okay, we can just walk underneath it, I guess. And the north key. The bug is still around here, though. Waiting for it to jump at us. I was really just about to ask if we were in the clear, and guess not.
Yeah, someone could hide an idea of what where the ghost is, but I'm not. I guess it's gonna be the creepy girl or but Oh no, it's the little wandering ghost down there. So the one was right there. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can go up to get out of here, but give it a try. Again, I wonder how the residents of this town are doing all this, just sleeping in their homes, hearing this giant bug smashing everything outside. Oh. Save me, Buddha. Bermadaratsu, this is supposed to be a shrine, come on. Don't eat me. That was easy. Just say don't need me and it's like okay I like it's salt in my hand. I think it's supposed to put it backwards in the first place. Oh I guess we can go back there if we want to collect items we may have missed. Yeah, I was trying to see what the... Okay, so maybe I have to go up there in the other world to get out of here. I'm not sure if I like, have to travel through this world to get there or not. And I was just kind of curious if these guys could actually see me or not, but I guess just sort of sprackly move around in the area they're in. Good to know. Okay, I guess that. I guess I do have to go there, through there in the real world, so we'll go do that then. Let's just have to find another path other than the one that we were going down at first. And it's kind of funny, we're just run for this monster and then eventually we have to say, don't eat me, and it's like, okay, sure. And it's like, well, since you're so polite about it. Let's get past these guys, though. Maybe the shrine is something? Nope, just someone's pocket change. And I guess salt's an important item, and not just like a... Not just like a, you can use it as an item to scare these guys now. Okay, 
since you just asked us to put him in place around town as a favor, I wouldn't say asked us. It, it just we had in our hands. That's what are you? Sis, have you, I think losing a dog is making you crack a little. Yeah, it looked like there was like an attack it was doing, I was seeing I could like outrun the attack, but I have no clue how I'm supposed to get by these things. Wait, there are coins that were respawning in that shrine, maybe. Okay, so don't pass in front of them is what I'm seeing, because the other one didn't notice me at all, but the others went after me, so. Okay. Is this too- okay, yeah, that's a little too in front of it. Chill me, sign. Sure, we're supposed to get by these guys at this point. We can either go up to the downward or into the shrine, which doesn't have anything. Oh, and that too, we also have the big spear that rushes us. my better judgment maybe we do have to go back to where we started to check that phone and the other path just seems blocked I'm not sure why the game store directed us back to the their phone for shrine and then if you know we can't actually go that way and then we'd have us go all the way back here after we give them, it gives us assault Can't get back here. Let's. Okay, I'm not sure what. If... Can a bit of odd game design there being like. Okay, now I gotta put. Oh. There he goes. Being like, okay, go this way, and now you have to go all the way back to go this. Here. Piece five, good. Oh, I did see an exclamation point, so let's look that. Sure, it's always closed, even during the day. Ruskin Zone opens it all. Yeah, I guess these shops all closed down because the mall, maybe, is what they're trying to say. Okay, I can't go that way because there's a spirit sitting right there. He's like, I have to go around there to get to the where I need to go. I'm gonna leave that thing alone for now. I've got one of those faces patrolling that area as well as the it was one of those belly maws.
think down here. Okay, there's the face patrolling down this area, so. Do need to try and get back to the salt piles, so we should probably stay in this area. So I think this will kill off some of the ghosts that are blocking off some areas, so we can. It's worth doing. What's that? Oh, right, that's the road stripe. That's how it was. A cool paper plane. Me and I have an ad from a market. Where I flew here from? Got another one of those other world phones here. Oh! I'll check it with you in a sec phone. I want to see how far I can get without you right now. Okay, there are two that way. Up this way. Oh good, not Topsy sketching the ground. That makes me feel safe. That way leads back up to the Shinto area. The woods and graveyard, I mean. Sneak by. Oh. And of course, they had the big head pop out as well. And that's 30 game overs, according to the achievement that just popped up. Okay, gotta go walk all the way back to where the other phone is, and then we'll have to jump between these two worlds for a bit. Pretty decent. I mean, like I said, I have some game design decisions that seem a bit odd to me, but you know, it's not terrible. And it's not super, gonna be super long. I think there's just one after this one that we'll be playing. I mean, it sounds like there's at least seven chapters, so seven or eight. And once we finish that up, then we'll probably move on to some other stuff. I know there's Horrorville, which I've heard is a pretty good game to play. Game. It's more of an RPG maker game, it's more some light horror for the for the more spoopy stuff instead of actual horror. But, and, well, it's Horrorville Act 1, they're apparently working on the rest of the acts, and... A bit of a long story about their development from my friend. I'm, I say that, but even though I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. Uh, and, right, let's check out what's in this other world. First off, anything down the path? Yep. Just a rock. So, am I allowed to walk past this? Yeah, see, now I can't walk past some people. Other time I could. Let's get the other three salt piles at this point. Maybe there's a phone up here I can check out? It's my thought. At this point, I don't have to worry about the centipede trying to attack us now. Ok, 
Okay, there's... Yeah, the rank right down there. This is really not sure how I'm supposed to. Okay, maybe if I go to the this going up into the left bit and I can sneak around them. Maybe. I really fucking hate those things. <sighs> Time to make the walk back again. Okay, so let's think a bit. Yeah, no, I am censured on is sort of where I'm supposed to put the salt, but there's like way too many of those damn things in the way. Dodge past it, runner. Yeah, there's nothing over this way, just these two ghosts that are sort of wandering around. Energy jump past. Oh. Okay, seriously, game, that's just freaking rude now. That's really just shooting two at me at those at once at me. Jesus game. Can I sneak by you? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh. There's a salt pile. It's a few more gone. They can walk through walls. Let's just okay. And back to the phone. First phone. Am I gonna have to make the walk of shame again, or I'm gonna get rid of these guys is a bit of a relief for me. Nope. Man, this chapter's quickly getting annoying. Get going again. What's your what's your face? This chapter is really starting to get to be a bit of a pain. I suppose we're in this area. We can check to see how many of those guys are still there. So I know a few of them despawn every time you get. Put down some salt so we can at least see if a few of them are gone. Not that one. Okay, so we at least have a checkpoint here. That's good at least.
Okay, I think there's just one more left. Yeah, just instinctively running for the sign because I was worried that those gonna have a runner jump out at me. Okay, last my salt pile right down here. And done. Put all the salt down. And yeah, go tell the centipede spear. I'm sure it won't try and eat you now. Yeah, and it is kind of weird how the game's just suddenly like, oh, this thing's not your friend all of a sudden, even though all you did. Uh, that's nice, but maybe we go to the shrine, I'm guessing. Because that's where we saw it last. Oh, creepy mannequin, lovely. Yeah, I mean, how are we supposed to contact it? Go into the other world or something? Sending spirit is in here. I mean, yeah, this is the normal world, not the other world. Red charm and three salt. It wasn't such a bad spirit. Yeah, it only tried to just crush us. Late Night, Chapter 5. About spirits. I found so many scary things in town. How many more times would I be so fed? Would you be scared of another? I think this dying is more scary than anything. You're a very strange little girl. Alright, let's get out here and then we can plan where we're gonna go. I guess we haven't checked the full downtown area yet, or maybe the bridge and factories where it wants us to go. Maybe the pond? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Oh! Never mind, we're just gonna get bored. Yeah, I can't do anything, I'm just sort of... Yeah, am I supposed to... Oh, there we go. Yeah, she was just spinning around in place until I found the one area it wanted me to interact with. I didn't even turn on my light for some reason. Where am I? I have to find the exit. I think we found it. Won't open. Oh! Maybe it's for the best it won't open now. We're thinking about it. Oh yeah, I think I saw a thing in the last area popping around a bit. Okay, so we're in the factory area. Oh, that answers my question. Oh, it's moving this way. Step back a bit so I can get a good look at what's going on. Might give me some space. Her girl's so anxious she's radiating crimson energy. Okay, I guess it's a nail some nail heads roaming around. What the Right now she's stuck, it seems. Okay, I can walk in here, okay. What's in here? The container. 
I think we can have him set here now. Sometimes the plot feels a bit Monster of the Week where you go to a new area, just sort of mess around, figure out what's going on, and use letter monsters into place. Like, whether it be centipede steer at your character says so it's totally fine. I'm sure you can go past it, but you just shove the barrier out of the way. Again, our character is very weird. Has a quick one. Has rapidly changing opinions about spirits. Uses to go past even the most simple of barriers. Doesn't believe her dog died until she's literally seen its body, despite the huge mess of blood on the, f on the road. A strange little girl. Not in, not particularly in a great way, though. Just in a, she's strange. Okay, let's check down here then. These Londons go swanning around. It feels like closer. I was just about to jump out, but... I'll get down here. Rock, rock, and rock. I feel the game is trying to tell me the rocks are going to be important, but... Same time, they're useless for like vast majority of the game, so I don't know. Yeah, it literally did nothing. Okay, got that. The nail head distracted, but that was it. I just have some strong questions about how useful the rocks are supposed to be in this game. Oh. Sorry, bud. I'll give you your space. Let's look up here, then. creature extract the rock. No? Come on. You check. Okay, maybe I can use the salt on it. To, so the spirit's just like a dummy spirit, it doesn't do anything. Or is it supposed to only move when I'm not looking at or something, because... It seemed like I was looking at it, I don't get what's going on with that spirit. Hmm, oh well. something I'm missing about that spirit. Like, I throw rocks at it, I throw salt at it. I 
Well, found someone's diary. I'm just trying to remember what the key was to. There, the Cree you don't know the code to open it. I mean, it's not a code, it's a lock. Piece of cloth, an anime character on it. the code to open the diary. It's called the key. Oh. Again, it feels like a bit of a monster of the week thing with this with this game where it's like each area has some main attack to deal with. how your running speed actually depletes faster when you're fleeing for your life as opposed to just sprinting along like i feel like that's opposite because you know adrenaline and all that let me just take a look at those things let's see newspaper picture of metal there's more hand spears show up the deeper you go into the tunnel I feel like we're in a new part of the factory. I'm a little uncertain, to be honest. Oh. Okay, I guess the thing about this gear is that's one of those that just charges straight ahead when it sees you. I'm curious, hoping to get before the spirit attacked. Oh no, it's just the. Okay, there was. It was where it's first spawned. I don't know why it didn't show up again. Crayon spirits again. Probably just gonna leave them alone because I really don't know what their deal is and it, it makes me anxious. Like, I was able to basically walk right up to one, grab the thing, and walk away without anything happening. And I was even throwing junk at it and nothing seems to be going on. I don't get it. This time I'm going to be ready to jump in the locker when it shows up. Or not. Okay. I just found some kid's sand shoe. All pink sandal. It makes a funny noise when I step on it. Ooh, nail head. One of these impassable barriers. I mean, you, she could probably literally fit right between those. She's giving up too easy, kid. I was down here before. This is a place of three rocks, wasn't it? No, 
we found a metal pipe. That's weird. Again, I do not know what's going on. Maybe if... Okay, I have a theory. Maybe if I'm standing in the light, they come after me. Which seems weird because I've been shining my light on them all before and they seem to not to care. Found puzzle piece 16, but I'm not sure where to go in from here. Oh, maybe down there. Terrible arm, kid. It's not at all where I asked you to throw it. I didn't have a place to run that time. But don't worry, it's probably not going to be there when I pop back in again for, for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, still checking out the rock equipped. Literally do not does nothing to these things. Oh wait, do I hide in the alleys? Maybe that's what's trying to get at. Nope. I really don't know at this point, to be honest. Again, it's really rude they have it pop up and there's just like no way to dodge it. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to use salt on, but... Again, I don't think at this point I can really... I don't have any more salt because they only gave me the three from beating... from finishing that chapter. Oop. No, I... oh, I can't... I go that way and... And of course, my character refuses to go past those little boundary signs. I really don't get, don't get why the boss is only showing up and like isn't showing up anymore. I mean. Should be showing up back here because that was one of those cutscenes, but now he's just not. Really get the feeling I'm missing something with this game. Like maybe there's a mechanic game that hasn't taught me or something, or that one of my items is actually more useful than it than I think. 
Okay, this time I'm gonna try and light the scribbles on fire. Maybe that'll do something. I can see them, but that's about it. I'm not sure, am I supposed to sneak past the throng and yell heads down there, or what? thinking for a split second. No, I'm just gonna let it kill me. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I was figuring is that if I get too close, they'll start following me and kill me, but... The second one didn't seem... The first one I encountered back there with the item didn't seem to do that. I'm just in, in experimentation mode at this point. <laughs> Maybe like the cat food. Let me try that. It seems like there's two ways through those three nail heads, which is just too tangled to get through. Past the big beast, which is just gonna run, ram into me. Yeah, I guess that if I get too close and aren't looking at them, they'll start to tail me. That's what I think is going on, okay. And at that point, I gotta use the tiptoe command actually to strafe. Okay. Time to run one again, once again. Oh, okay, I juked them, but... Okay. I can't make it past them, especially now that I know what to do. One second. And a couple pings on here, just making sure everything's okay. Okay, that seems to be everything cool. And we're back. At least now we know how to get past the things, so... We'll probably play to the end of the chapter and then we'll move on to... And then we'll call it for the night. And then on Sunday I can finish up the game on stream and then move on to Rhythm Doctor Act 6. Act 5, I mean. It's like, I know you're, we're all excited that we're getting this new stories act after all this time but don't get don't get too excited it's just act five not act five and six okay okay so i'm gonna I'm gonna do shoot him into charging and then we'll 
bit off the side so that way he can't really charge us straight up on. And then we'll run down the alley. Oh. Hey, thanks for follow, Caleb. We're, we're playing Yomo Wari Night Alone today. We're on, let's see, what is it according to the... We're on chapter 6 right now. And I think there's at least at least seven chapters. Yeah, we're gonna be... We're just trying to finish this up this one chapter and then we'll be calling it for the n night. You're yeah, pretty close near the end of the game, I'd say. Like, this is chapter six. There, I know there's chapter seven, and I'm not sure if there's a chapter eight. Okay. And juke him. Okay, so. I'm gonna have to do a bit more than that, but I see. Of course, I'm not sure how much duping I can do in that place with those little crayon spirits here. Idea. Maybe we can trick it to go down the path with those with the nail heads and that'll get me. And then I can get out of here. Ah, almost almost dodged. Yeah, we're definitely reaching the tougher point point in the game, like you should have seen last chapter is really tough, especially because like these bits where it's just a spirit would rush out and that warning and kill you if you didn't dodge out of the way. Good, now let's try and lure it away to... I'll try and... Well, I can do that, but... Give it a shot. There's something at the end of that path, of course. Probably one of the puzzle pieces or parts. Those collectibles you have to get multiple bits of in order to get an achievement. It's gone now. Okay, so this path literally had nothing but a rock at the end of it. That's an amazing game. I got some prioritization questions. And look, we're gonna put a tiny path with nothing but a single item at the end of it. It should probably be more than a rock. Okay. Is that a spirit or... No, look around just to get an idea of what else is here before we go grab and... Rusty small key. And barely tell that says chimney. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of where else if there's anything else that might be, be dodged while we're here. Don't have anything to say about the dead man in front of you, girl? No, nothing? Jeez. Okay, now let's see if there's anything else we need to do in this area before we go running off. Maybe this door. Just 
Google Spirit is not blocking anything important. And I don't think there's anything else in this area. It's the puzzle piece I already got. Nice try. Okay, let's check back here first. Was there a door back here? Or at least like something for a chimney I could access. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Can't jump down there. So I guess I do gotta go down the to the right now. Yeah, it feels like a big part of this game is just figuring out where to go. Especially at this point in the game. I don't understand why the game lets you examine the barriers when when there's really nothing to do, it just and it can distract from actual stuff you can examine. Let's check up here again. I know last time we checked up here there wasn't really anything, but I want to be sure. Yeah, just a bunch of fallen rocks. Yeah, there's got to be something down here at least. I heard that I'm missing something. Down here, these things I can't, I can't walk past. Barrier. Oh. Wait, there's a barrier moved. Did these barriers moved the last time I was here. Or did it move now that I got the key? I do not know. And what have got here? Just some coins, okay. Yeah, as well as being able to, to throw them for abstraction, you can use them at these Jesus statues to get a quick save. Oh! Did you? No, or not. Okay, but at least we know now that for some reason those barriers are gone so we can go pat down that way. So I just head straight down here and we should be able to get going. Okay, so this time either it's not going to show up at all, or we just got to sneak down here. Yeah, it's really weird how sometimes it just doesn't show up. It's like, hey, we got the picture book, and now it's not going to show up at all. I don't, I really don't understand what they were going with for this thing. Like, I thought these things were supposed to be, like, for, to show up in certain places to chase you, but then after that, it just completely forgets about it. Look about a grown spirit lives in her bed. They're smiling together. That's nice. All spirits I have want to kill me. Want to kill me. Yeah, 
Yeah, the fact that it just got spirits just like jump scaring you and killing you, you know, almost unavoidably, and just and just not sh showing up the second time you go back there, it just feels like they're they're just trying to punish you more than anything. I don't know. Right, there wasn't anything down here, just the yeah, just these berries and the two coins. Definitely feels like I gotta go past these guys. I'm counting at like two or three of them. No, four. <laughs> ah, panicked for a second there, but everything's fine. Keep running, keep running. Okay, good. Ooh. Oh, and I see the statue right up there, but what are the odds the monster's gonna jump out and. Okay, good. It is a safe. It's not letting me teleport like it usually does, though. I mean, I guess because we're supposed to be trying to escape this place. We just got jumped by monster before we came here, now we gotta escape, but. Oh. Okay, now we just hide until it goes away. Should be good now. Alright, it's probably saying I can examine either the things or just the bush. Kind of stutter stepping here because I'm thinking where the odds the monster jumps out at me here. That way. Oh, it just disappeared. Okay. I thought we were gonna have a chase sequence, monster. Are you? Guess you're just not feeling it today or something, huh? I mean, if that's what you want to be, then fine. I'll just unlock this door and we can get out of here. Yeah, that was quite the chase sequence. And again, it literally just pops up like we're gonna have a chase and just vanishes. Game, I have some real questions about what some questions about what you're doing with it, about what's going on here. Oh, puzzle piece 18? I think I'll pack here. Oh, I can. Cool. It's like I thought I could guard a puzzle piece, but little didn't know I could just go around behind it. Okay, let's just watch for a bit until we're safe. Oh, the front gate key, so now we can get out of here. We just gotta probably have one last big chase with the monster. And as soon as I say it, just cuts to the monster just sleeping in bed saying, Nah, man, I'm, I'm out of it today. We can have that chase some other day. Not sure why I decided to turn this way, but sure. Let me guess when I pop back up, the monster won't even. Oh. 
There it goes. You know, I thought a spirit would be a bit more durable to things just like, uh... Okay, I mean, it did get impaled pretty badly, but still. I fear it'd be a bit more resistant. Oh, hey, it's that hand that stole the salt back there. What do you got for us this time? What's charm found? This is this is charm. It's this. I me, I'm just preparing for when we raid out. Achieve unlocked, Dead of Night, Chapter 6 complete. I'll just quickly go over here. The Nightwalker. Sis told me she was kidnapped by the spirit that walks around town at night. Sis so hold her charms so tight that all, all worn out. But I hold it tight enough, it makes my feelings warm. Wait, when did Sis tell you that she, that she was kidnapped? What are you talking? I'm I'm getting confused. I'm starting to feel that the story is a little bit confused at this point. But anyway, it's enough talk because we got to get raiding out now. So I'm gonna go raid out now. Let me quickly see who we can raid to right now. How about? Okay, I'll send you out to Ferret Magic. He's playing some Resident Evil right now, so. Yeah, I'll catch you on Thursday when we're gonna be playing through World of War version 1. It's gonna be a few new gods and characters from what I remember, and. But yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So, take care, folks. I'll see you then. Thank you.